We're gonna be building a Weebly website on an iPad Pro 2018 with a Magic Keyboard. If you don't have a Magic Keyboard, any Bluetooth mouse that connects to your iPad will do. We're gonna try both the iPad app and the iPad's web browser on iPadOS 14.5 to build a Weebly website. Let's dive in. Okay, we're gonna be building a website on an iPad today on Weebly. We're gonna be using the app first. Um, so we're gonna try this out. I just clicked uh, create a new site. So it's asking us uh, if we're gonna be selling online. So I'm gonna say yes. Uh, let's do a business. Yeah, let's do a business theme. Let's look at those. Um, I love that you can actually build your themes from the app. So that's really promising. Uh, we're gonna go with this bird's eye two table for two. And we're gonna um, see what that looks like and how that works. It's gonna load up. All right, well, it looks really great. I'm very impressed so far. Okay, so this is really minimal. Um, this is barely a theme at all. It's really just a, a header and that's about it. Home page here, and we're just gonna see what we can do um, as far as dragging elements in. Because when we use Squarespace, we were not able to do much. Okay, so here's Weebly. Let's say we wanna throw, uh, I know we can throw like text in. I'm not really worried about that. Okay, well, drag and drop works great. Nice. Hello world. Whoops. All right, that looks great. And then I have some options down here. I could center it. Nice. I could hyperlink. Very cool. Website URL. Uh, I can bullet point it. I can number it. Okay, great. This is, oh, then just got over here, I got bold. I guess I have to select it. I can bold it. I can italicize it. Whoa, there it is. And I could underline it. Could uh, change the font color, very nice. I could also change, I could really make that weird looking. But, okay, well, this is not gonna let me. Okay, well that's actually not really working. Can I not drag? Hmm, okay, that was weird. Um, but at least you have a little bit of editing you can do and then you can make it all bigger, all right. Okay, so text works great. Let's try a different block. Let's try a map. Squarespace did not like maps. So yeah, San Francisco, California, zoom with height position. Okay, wow, this is great. Um, very cool, I'm very impressed. Okay, great, so it looks like you have pretty much full functionality here. Um, width and height, positioning, um, you center it. I mean, it's pretty much already centered. Width and height, we can make it tiny. Let's see how tiny looks. Oh, great, it's good for mobile. Um, and then auto is probably what you really want to do. All right, that's great. Um, very, very impressed with that. Now, can we edit stuff like this? Okay, we can edit the buttons. Very nice. Okay, so far the uh, Weebly app is killing the Squarespace app. <laughs> really bad. Uh, this has been fantastic. actually really good. This is fantastic. Uh, I can throw an embed code in there. That's great. I can throw a YouTube video. That's great. YouTube video URL. Let's go ahead and pull one of those up real quick. Oh, actually, there's already one in there. Very nice. So you have a video right here to tell you how to do it. That's great. Watch on YouTube. Yeah, that's great. Because you're very impressed. I've, there's no element in here that I am struggling to get to work. Uh, I can throw a contact form. I'm sure that's going to work. HD video. This is where a video where you upload. Those take a bit of work. Um, the, I, I don't recommend that unless you just have a lot of time to kill with uploading. I did that once and it just took forever with multiple videos. Um, so best idea is to get it on YouTube and just throw the link up there. Search box. Uh, that's cool. Ooh, it's a premium element. Our current plan does not support that. Okay. Fantastic. Nothing to worry about. But it still gives me the option. We can also do file uploads. That's great. Um, some store items right here. Um, man, different store stuff, uh, quote, RSVP. This is great, fantastic so far. Uh, I'm really happy with this. Uh, I can do a slideshow. Oh, wow, look at that. Let's do this one or that one. You can add images to it. Uh, click a file here, upload. Man, look at all this. Fantastic. All right, let's see how we can move stuff around now. How easy is that? Do I just drag it? Wow. Good job, Weebly. You know, I'm not honestly a big fan of Weebly all that much. Uh, at least their desktop versions, uh, but their app right now is killing it. So if you're gonna run a mobile business and have a website and use the app mainly, I would absolutely recommend Weebly. 
uh, this is fantastic. I mean, you can pretty much do everything you need. I, I have no issues. Um, let's throw a spacer in here. I'll try to resize some stuff. Where'd my spacer go? I probably just passed it. Spacer, there it is. Let's drag that in. So again, I'm using the Magic Keyboard uh, with the trackpad, um, but you can use any any mouse really that works. You can use any Apple mouse uh, will work, and I recommend a Bluetooth mouse. You can probably use a dongled mouse, uh, but Bluetooth is just going to be easier and just instant connect. You don't have to get a, a dongle or anything like that to plug in. Okay, so here's my spacer. I can't like drag to make the spacer bigger or like make it you know less something, um, but I can move it in between places. That's great. Okay, I can also edit it and just change the height. So let's say I wanted to make it 100. Okay, well I can't actually edit that, but I can press the plus button. Okay, great. So spacers work great. Man, I would even say you could build a whole website top to bottom uh, from the app. I am very impressed with that. Uh, we can change the theme. Oh, wow, right from here. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and make this a portfolio then. We'll change that theme to um, leaps and bounds. I like that. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see if that keeps all of our elements in place. I haven't saved anything. I haven't even previewed it. Um, I've just left it the way it is. Okay, well, it didn't change much. Actually, I don't know if it changed anything. Did it? What? Okay, I'll try that again. I'll mix an online store this time. We'll pick um, the little puppy dog. Little golden retriever. Okay, so changing the theme does nothing. The, after you get the initial stuff, the images are going to stay the same, and the text is all going to stay the same. The buttons are going to stay the same, but it's, it seems like the theme is just the font. So it's changing the font of your menus. So unless you've really got a theme in there you want to use, it's not going to be a big deal to change it. Pages, uh, it's pretty easy to get to another page. Okay, wow, you got your SEO settings in here. That's fantastic. Got some header code. Look at that, you can add some code. You can hide the page in the menu. Wow, this is like full functionality. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. Well, let's go ahead and click preview. Here's our desktop preview. A real nice website. <laughs> real nice website. I love that there's a file upload though. That's fantastic. Uh, YouTube, all that good stuff. Let's see what it looks like on mobile. Wow, even worse. Um, yeah, this is great. I could publish it. I don't know why I'd want to. Well, that's it for the app. Uh, I'm really impressed with that. We're going to move over to the browser version in just a second. Um, the app does give you adding items for a business, um, some insights, some stats. There's your store, and there's back to our website, and then you've got your account over here. So we're going to check out the browser version now and see how that compares to the app. All right, guys, we are on Weebly.com. We're in the browser version now of, uh, of Weebly on the iPad. So we're gonna see how it handles on Safari. So we're using Safari right now, um, right there. So we're gonna see how we can build a website on the browser version instead of just the app. Um, so we're gonna do the online store again, just like we did. And we're okay, so there's a little bit more info they're asking now. Uh, what's the name of your store? Um, iPads are us. How about that? Yeah. You're currently selling any items. Um, let's just say I'm not selling them yet. Uh, I'm not sure. I just want to get through this. We are a professional tech product. That is better. Tech, tech products. Okay. What's your store address? I'm going to skip that because I definitely don't have a physical store. Okay. So this is a little bit of a different setup. It was a bit more streamlined on the, oh, look at that. That's awesome. uh, it was a bit more streamlined on the app, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna click edit site and just see what happens. So we're gonna design and do all that stuff. Okay, so you've got the full Weebly builder that I'm familiar with. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go with, and oh, that looks somewhat, that's professional, right? It's a watch, it's not an Apple watch, but it's a watch. Mill clothing, okay, so here we are. Um, you've got, we've got this like bar over here because if you look at the, the cursor, like the, the spinny, oh, wait, the slider, the slider, bar. I don't know. I don't know what you call that. Oh, goodness. Okay. So we're here now. Let's look. This is a full fledged theme. Now I actually have more. That might've been a, an app issue where we didn't have all the theme stuff. So to check that out. 
Okay, so we're gonna start editing. Um, this looks good so far. Creating your site. So the reason we do the app version and the browser version together is because we really wanna see is the app version missing something that the browser version has? Like is the browser version better or is it fuller? Like is it, are we just missing something on the app version? So I really like to look at both and see um, what's gonna work best. So I don't have a domain, so I'm gonna X out of that. Um, okay, so that did a little funky thing when I clicked out of it. So we're gonna click build again. Okay, pages build, okay. All right, so this is definitely very drag and drop. So we're gonna, oof, okay, every time I, oh, okay, gotcha. That's annoying. I wish that was not the case, but it works. Okay, so I can add a new section here. Uh, that's great. I, have, I feel like I have a little more functionality here. Uh, it was a little bit stripped down in the app, but I would say once your website's built, that app is gonna be perfect. Uh, okay, let's add, let's see if I can have dragging and dropping works. Okay, so it's a little freaky. <laughs> you see all the blue freaking out, uh, but it seems to work. Okay, so simple slideshow, that's great. Fantastic. And we could upload from my computer, but I don't want to. Uh, okay, great. That was easy to throw in. Uh, let's throw another map in. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Oh, nope, it made it. Ooh, gross. All right, uh, I didn't mean to throw it there, but I did. So we have our same options here. The zoom, we can zoom way out. I wonder how far we can zoom out. Okay, so that's a slider. Oh, okay. whoa, yeah, look at that. The whole world. All right, we can throw it in the middle. That's normal. Advanced location. You can put in your longitude and latitude. Okay, so pretty similar. We got buttons, we've got an embed code. Uh, we've got YouTube. I'm gonna try to get out of there. Yeah, that's better. I'm talking about ruining a site. <laughs> uh, okay, YouTube. Yeah, look great. Everything's dragging really simply. I think the benefit though of having um, the browser version is some of this stuff like moving and copying stuff. You can do that on the on the app version. It's just a little, a little more difficult. But one of the benefits I would think would be being able to resize stuff. Uh, but I'm not seeing that as like an actual option. So in the, in the text versions of things, you can still go in there, you can bold things, you can underline them, you can make them bigger, smaller, same things. Uh, but very impressed with the app version on that. You can throw your products in there, our search box, our SVP form, Google AdSense, cookie opt-out. Oh, that's cool. You always need one of those. Oh, you can also customize your footer, oh wow. Weebly has gotten better over the years because I used to use it and I really hated it. I really hated it. So Weebly has a footer now, that's great. Uh, you can edit that if you want. You can remove the branding uh, and all that fun stuff. Um, okay, so this is working pretty well. I really wish I could resize some stuff. Let's add a new section entirely. And okay, there it is. Let's make this a uh, hmm, a team section. Yeah, meet our team. Ooh, let's get that purple in there. Let's get some color. So this is our team. We got Nobu, Janet, and Regina. Small team, but a uh, solid team. Dude, I love those glasses. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, okay, so I'm still in here. I can just save this now. And now I can edit stuff. I can move things around. That's pretty easy. Uh, oh, well, I spoke too soon. It's, okay, let's, ah, there it is. Ooh, that was tough. Um, I can't resize some things as far as I can, oh, no, I can. Look at that. Okay, so it's a little tricky. You kind of got to know where to click. Let me see if I can do it anywhere else. I don't think I can do that up and down. It doesn't appear to be the case. Can I do it? Yeah, I can do it when there's like a block of stuff next to each other. I can make things smaller left and right. And I assume, let's duplicate Nobu in his sweet glasses here. Let's copy him to this page. I don't love the way that Weebly does this copy thing. I wish they would just they would be able to duplicate it way easier on the page around, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's throw something above. Let's see, yeah, let's throw him, let's have two Nobus, and then can I, okay, no, I cannot, I can't make it better, like top and bottom, I can only do left and right. Very interesting. 
Okay. Uh, looks great though. Works great. Uh, I feel like that's more of a, a Weebly functionality than it is an iPad functionality. So I'm not really worried about that. But okay, this is fantastic. It, they both work really well, um, which is again shocking. And they're way better than Squarespace because if you watch my Squarespace video, those were that was terrible. The browser version and the app version. I mean, the app version worked. It was just stripped down and you couldn't really do anything. And some of the items didn't even work like the map thing didn't work if you were going to do that so it was pretty rough um but this has been fantastic i think you could absolutely build a website on weebly on an ipad uh, from the app or the browser the app i think is a uh, is a little smoother you do lack a few functionality um, pieces uh, but the browser is if you want everything the browser is there and you can change anything you need. Um, I'm very impressed with it. It moves really well. You can resize things. Um, there's no issue using the iPad. So it really comes down to what you prefer. I think you could build it from the ground up on either one. So good job, Weebly. Hey guys, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you like this video, I mean, press the like button because it really does help. Uh, and if you wanna know more about how to use your iPad and work in everyday life, uh, man, hit that subscribe button because uh, that's what we do here. Uh, also, if you have another website builder you want me to test, I mean, put that in the comments below. If you've used Weebly before, uh, man, let me know in the comments. I'd really love to, to hear from you guys. I try to comment back or uh, at least like every single comment. Um, so I'd love to start a dialogue with you down there. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.